Hey guys, I'm setting up a new bullet journal. This is the old one I used. I'm not crazy about it. The paper was really thick and it did not have as many pages as I'm used to. So I'm going back to my old favorite. I made sure to clean out any pockets that were in this one and marked any pages that I want to transfer over. Personally, I really enjoy working on a two or three month cycle, depending on the size of the notebook. It keeps things fresh and allows me to pivot more. So here's the new one. I'm using the Moleskin XL dotted with the hardcover. I like the hardcover because I can put stickers on it. I tried something fun with the index this time. It was time consuming and I'm not sure if it was worth it, but I counted the pages and expressed everything as sort of like a percentage on a pie chart. Recently I've been doing two days per page, which feels a lot less wasteful than the one day per page I had been doing for a long time. And for these purposes, Saturday and Sunday count as one. Filled out three months and then made a new notebook page so I'd be reminded to get a new one. And then I got to the menu section and realized I'd forgotten to make a cover page. I'm not super precious about these. I might add some stickers and I might never look at it again. This next section is my favorite section I've ever done. I started using menus a while back as a way to make to-do lists that were very low stakes but comprehensive and helping me remember things that I needed to do on a regular basis. This is my self-care menu for when I really need to pick me up and can't figure out what would make me feel better in that moment. I split it up into sections depending on what I feel like needs the most care in that moment. I found this to be really helpful. These menus actually help me avoid choice paralysis. Next I have the page that helps me avoid the Sunday scaries. I made a list of things that I do on Sundays that help me have a better week and organize them into things that take a lot of energy and things that don't take much energy at all. If I can do a couple of these each Sunday, I feel so much better when I start my week. It's like a gift from the weekend to the weekdays. And yes, that does say spend time with family and spend time without family because if you know, you know. For my weekdays, I use themed days or I like to think of it as bird's eye view time blocking. Each day has sort of an overarching theme that I work under. This is the rhythm that I've tested for myself that seems to work the best. So when I'm making my to-do list for the day, I look here to flesh it out. This helps me to keep a routine, but also keep things fresh. And let me tell you, I've never spent so much time on a page as I did coloring this one. Next we have a morning routine that I did a test drive of on TikTok last week. So far it's going well, so I'm going to keep it as is. I don't have a set order to these things because I found that if I did, I would tend to skip things entirely because, oops, missed my opportunity. So if they get done, they get done. Great. If they don't, I still have a chance to go back and do them again. That's all I have filled out for menus right now. I'm working on a couple of other pages and then I have some trackers. I don't often do trackers, but I'm in the middle of a big project called Sad Jedi Summer Challenge. It's over on my Patreon if you want more info about it, but this is my goal tracker for that challenge. The lightsabers are divided into fractions depending on how many actions are in that goal, and then I'm coloring them as I complete those goals. I did complete a few of them today. This is another one of those pages that I did spend a lot of extra time on, but honestly, I think it was worth it. I did make some progress on a few of these today, so I'm going to go ahead and color those in while I'm thinking about it, because otherwise I will forget. I did leave a substantial amount of room at the end for journaling because that is a goal I have this go round. And I'm going to clean out the pocket while I'm here because I do not need that. This brings me to the end of this journal setup. This has actually been a really sustainable habit for me as a person with ADHD for about three years now. Hope you enjoyed the tour and let me know what questions you have.